everyone how are you today i'm going to show you how to create <coughs> a whm uh, cpanel uh, instance in aws whm is a server management software it's very popular and it's been used in classical web hosting a lot of uh, companies use whm for managing their uh, applications websites and lot of things emails uh, everything included so whm is um, very much uh, used in last previous years uh, so a lot of companies still want to use whm and use aws so uh, it's a um, very popular uh, server management software today i'm going to show you how you can use whm inside aws so that you can import your existing infrastructure to aws easily by migration and then gradually convert to single ec2 instances so let's get started first i going to uh, go to ec2 area where i will create a new instance using whm whm is uh, provided as a uh, marketplace ami from the uh, company whm itself so i'm going to uh, create a new instance here and then i'm going to go to marketplace so it's a marketplace uh, software where i just uh, search for whm in the marketplace and uh, i will see list of options here it is so it is uh, managed by whm whm and cpanel company itself and uh, it's free of cost so you just need to pay the monthly bills of aws and the license cost and other things you need to buy it from the whm cpanel website so this gives you a free trial for a few days to try and uh, import your application into aws and then when you are satisfied you can purchase the whm license from their official website and then you can just apply your license so i'm going to select this then i'm going to um, okay it gives me options of what is my uh, possible uh, options are it's um, shows me uh, the who created this ami and who's managing this and what versions of linux it will use it is your centos 7 and uh, what is the delivery method is 64 bit amazon machine images and it is marketplace since 9 11 17 and uh, it is served by amazon ebs so uh, as you can see the price is only for the instance cost there is no cost for this using this ami and um, let's go further with this it will use the version of version 78 of whm so let's go next we will stay inside the free tier so let's choose uh, t2 micro then uh, I keep it as it is and just um, click next it's 20 gigs size it's I think should be fine the next go I add a tag here WHM I go to security groups so it's predefined security groups let's use these settings as they are giving we will just not modify anything else so uh, these are pre-configured security groups which which is required for you and then go to preview and launch okay here are some options here boot from general purpose ssd general purpose ssd volumes provides the ability to boost 300 ips per volume okay um, choose the default that is recommended here you click next it gives me a warning that security group has something open to the world but let's keep it as it is we can customize later on to make sure it applies to our security policies let's go to launch it's interesting previously what in traditional 
uh, hostings like HostGator or GoDaddy, you don't have to use key pairs because there was uh, logged in via the wheel group. Here is also a uh, wheel group is available. However, the user is sent OS and you need to use a key pair as per the AWS uh, recommendations over the application. So I already have a key pair created. So let's use that. If you don't, you can just create a new one. It will take probably some time. It will install WHMC panel over there and all those uh, required softwares, PHP, Apache, and everything you need to install. So um, let's wait till it's finished and um, then we can see how quickly we have uh, installed AWS WHMC panel. Okay, my instance has been created. Now I'm going to see the, the instance in here. Okay, it's creating. So let me uh, put a name WHM. Usually I do an elastic IP address. So let's uh, create an elastic IP. and then assign uh, to this instance okay it has been associated let's go oh it's, it's running okay let's see uh, it's running so i need to copy the ip Now what we have to do is first we need to log into that instance using uh, shell SSH and then we need to set the root password. So let's do that. The user is sent OS. Yes. Okay, perfect. So I have now uh, logged into the server. I have now logged in as a root. Now I'm going to set the password. Okay. Now I'm going to create a strong password from a password generator website. It's uh, it's it will be your root password when you log in via the web interface. Okay, all authentication tokens have been updated successfully. Let's now try to uh, connect to the server using uh, the web interface. So I've copied the IP, then I'm going to uh, paste the IP. And then port 2087. This is the port where WHM control panel is available. Okay, let's proceed. Awesome. I'm going to copy this password here and use as a user root password password. I have to do some little more configurations 
that's inside the WHM so it's like uh, I have to agree the uh, all uh, terms and conditions email address let's put my email address here okay and name server this is the name server so let's keep it as it is and let's go to finish awesome as you can see we have just set up the whm inside aws within less than 10 minutes so um, we have almost done let's create an account whm dot just create a new account If I set the IP, and this is the IP address, just a moment. Yeah, here the IP address of the server. I just need to copy. Let's create a new record to see um, if everything works fine. Save it. Okay. I will just create a PHP info. It shows me trial license because it's a f trial version for few days. You have to purchase a license in cpanel.net and from there if you purchase the license and apply to this uh, WHM configuration then you don't get this message anymore. file amazing so it's you see my uh, subdomain has been resolved the IP and if I click here I see the PHP versions 5.6.4 and uh, Apache is also running all of the PHP extensions are there by default it's PHP 5.6 but you can switch to a PHP 7 version here and go to PHP multi ion editor
we can just change the versions available here 5 7.0 7.1 .1. so let's do that 7.1 okay and restart the php fpm let's see Here it is php version 7.1 so uh, this is a, a very uh, interesting topic because a lot of people using a w, uh, whm and they don't want to move to aws because they don't know how to migrate to uh, aws using their whm so i have shown you how to do that after uh, this tutorial you can just do follow as i have dis displayed here and it's a straightforward process nothing complicated you just do some clicks and it's already set up over there after doing the setup you can import your aws accounts from the imports and export area where you can um, transfer transfer tool using the transfer tool you can transfer your aws uh, whm accounts from other uh, server to this and uh, then you can easily continue in aws and then eventually uh, migrate to them to single ec2 instances so i hope this helps you to set up whm in aws uh, if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and uh, watch for other tutorials if you have any interest on wordpress aws and um, magento aws and all those kind of things thank you for watching and have a nice day bye